What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Earthbound. In the last part, uh, Jeff joined our party after going all the way through Winners. This part, we're gonna talk to this guy. We're gonna actually explore more three this time. Let's talk to this guy. There's a room there's an underground path at the end of the graveyard. Take you somewhere. When you're through the path, give me a dirty, stinking, ugly, powerful monster. What my pants just thinking about it? What's up with this game in that? This town seems very dark, right? The people mostly live in the center of town. Yeah, they're saying the same thing as before. But like, uh, hey, new enemy. This is the handsome Tom. This is the, uh, I believe they're weak to freeze, but I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, they're just doing normal damage. Yeah, they, they will just do attack. And I think they will also like put in a status and uh, Jeff should get a level up out of this. So uh, let's see. Jeff is now level 13. Guts went up by one. Max is went up by two. Anyway, so I mainly want to get a level up out of Jeff. Maybe, maybe it's Paula, uh, get a level up. Uh, Plus, we, we haven't really seen all the new enemies in this area. I'm trying to see if I can really seek them out. Um, I'm trying to remember where the depart the drugstore is because I want to get Jeff some arm that is armed up. Wait, that's not that's not the way. I know where it is now. It's at the wait a minute. Uh, this might be a new enemy. There's two new enemies in this variant. Yeah, smiling Sam. Uh. This is what I was thinking of is actually weak to freeze. They have a stronger attack than the handsome Tom, but uh... Oh, they're just doing normal damage, uh... But they stop moving either way. With Paula, you just want to move, use like the weakest freeze, uh... Paula's now level 16. Oh baby! Offense went up by 4. Oh baby! Speed went up by 3. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 2. Max speed went up by 8. Max speed went up by 5. I was also say to uh, oh yeah, this is where we uh, were before, uh, but uh, we kind of we kind of go downwards. Um, that takes us to the drugstore. I'm talking to this guy. That course is on really of course. The curious center at the center of town. We want to crush zombies, so they think they'll crush us. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to three. On the trash can and you're just playing old garbage. <laughs> But yeah, we, we can actually get Jeff some equipment upgrades. We can equip him the copper bracelet. Except we're gonna need to sell something first. Why don't we sell his cheap bracelets? Because uh I don't wanna sell the picnic lunch we got from those cavemen, but uh we do need to sell a couple of Jeff items to clear inventory space for him. Uh and we don't I don't wanna sell the 120 item, but uh let's sell sell this. Now we're gonna buy some shit for Jeff. We can buy him the copper bracelet to raise his defense. Jeff, defense changed from 18 to 28. And uh, let's see, what else can we get him? Uh, looks like we can get him the hard hat too. And change from 28 to 33. We can also buy, there's an upgrade from the Holmes hat, but uh, yeah, it seems to be it for the uh, new stuff we can armor Jeff with. Uh, now, they said there is a tent at the center of the town. I think they're referring to this. See, right, let's see if I can get the dog this, the below to say something. Wait a minute, these are new enemies. These are the no good flies we already encountered, but these are the zombie dogs. Now, when they bite you, they can bite you with fangs, inflicting a new status, which is poison status. So, uh... Yeah, we haven't encountered it yet, but uh, healing alpha will actually not get rid of poisoning. So, uh, yeah, it's another reason I recommend buying the refreshing herbs in this town. Uh, yeah, it looks like he, he almost flat out killed Jeff. Okay, thank you. Just, just attack Naf. I need to heal Jeff. Let's use, uh,. Let's just use PSI Freeze Alpha. And even if Jeff... Uh, I'm sorry. I really don't want to waste this, but uh, we're gonna... Actually, we'll do get healed. Uh, fuck. I think Ness goes last. Uh, let me re-strategize. Okay. I'll bash this. Use Freeze Alpha on this. And Jeff will use the Picnic Launch on himself.
Fuck. It's time to make a trip to the hospital. Which I will see you guys momentarily after this. But yeah, that unfortunately Jeff got hurt and collapsed. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a trip to the hospital. I'll see you guys in a second. I know Michael wasn't too far away, so we want to see Jeff and uh, still in college. What I wanted to get him some XP, but uh, unfortunately our uh, luck wasn't in our favor. But uh, now we're gonna fight the damn tent. Now. I've already elaborated before that depending on how you equip them, Jeff. Oh, ooh, that's what the dog says. Now I've already elaborated before that uh, depending on how you equip Jeff, uh, that he can either be the weakest member of your party or the strongest member of your party. This is going to demonstrate greatly in what I'm about to show here. Go, we, ladies and gentlemen, we are fighting a tent. This is the boogie tent. Now, uh, we're gonna see his PSI Mario and. Uh, he will be strong against Freeze Beta, so much like Mondo Mole, uh, why don't we just use PSI Thunder, however, uh, this is what I was saving the Bottle Rocket for. Jeff comes with the Bottle Rocket, it's like one of the, one of the items only he can attack with. Okay, a fuck. Oh yeah, he solidified Jeff, so, uh, yeah, so, uh. We're gonna bass him, put PSI Thunder. I want the damn bottle rocket. Dude, sit, we're gonna save the big bottle rocket until a little bit later. I'm oh, using that on Jeff. <laughs> I got a smash attack, but uh, as long as we can get a Thunder Alpha to hit. All right, zero times the charm. Third times the charm. He just attack. Danny, one, one. Paula was legit one HP away from collapsing. Paula, you better you go first. Use the croissant on yourself. I knew I knew it was gonna I knew it was gonna go straight to her, but it, didn't, it doesn't matter because he was defeated. We gained 1,834 XP out of this, and uh, Paul is now level 17, Guts went up by 1, Max HP went up by 3, Jeff's now level 14, Defense went up by 1, IQ went up by 2, Max HP went up by 1, Jeff's now level 15, Offense went up by 1, Speed went up by 1, Guts went up by 1, Vitality went up by 1, Luck went up by 1, Max HP went up by 12. What we're going to get as a result of this is, uh, the Jar of Fly Honey. And, uh, I think that's all we can do for now, but, uh, I think I'm trying to remember. We go to the ho- I think we go to the hotel, and then we can actually sleep there this time. Yeah, actually this happens. Hello, this is Applicator. I finally, you know that finished a pretty unique invention. It's not sure it help you. You're not spelled zombie paper. It works kind of like fly paper. All you need is to place the paper on the floor, like every tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? And the zombies get stuck to the paper when they move around. So, uh, do the tent. Sorry for the random burp. You can catch a lot of zombies that way. In fact, I bet you can get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just asked the mock pizza delivery room to zombie paper. You know. You should get it pretty soon. They're actually, I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there really are any zombie people, would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Clip beep. Now we're just gonna walk around a bit until the uh, Mokhlitsa delivery man just, uh, which is me. So during the pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Ness, who was one around three. No one else knows about this, right? So just pretend you're Ness and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello, Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I mean, this isn't your Ness, no matter what. We got the zombie paper. That's right, Ness. Wink, wink. I've done my duty and given you apple kids. Thanks to you. Not thanks to me. It was just Thanksgiving as I'm recording this. I think I'm, think I'm midging. Think good, well, goodbye. All right, so. Okay, they're running in there. Hey. You can, you can do whatever you want to save my life. This guy at the pizza just told me about this new product called zombie paper. You're gonna be able to try to get all the zombies in a single spot. We'll give it a try. It's better than nothing, I guess. 
They're going to use this tent as a trap. We should try zombie with some kind of trap. You have some. We have to do something. We're gonna set the zombie paper there. And uh, let's go to the hotel. Cause that's how you trigger the cutscene. I'm so scared of the zombies. I don't have time running from them. I can't even get home. Anyway, so we might as well go to the hotel. Take a nap. Really, let's get ourselves all healed up. <laughs> Notice how the more party members you get, the more expensive it gets. Basically, real life. Yeah, these zombies are gonna fall for the zombie paper. Notice how they all go into the tent. Hey, look, it's light outside. It's probably not going to be light outside uh, with uh, Freed. Let's see if we can... Sir, you're working hard. You know you're gone. I guess the newspaper we just delivered to the hotel today. They're different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what it's in it. Boogie Tent Falls. Young human to blame. A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. The boy had a right cap. Hey, it was you! Oh, yeah. That's what led to Jeff joining us. Uh, the memories, even though I just recorded that last session two days ago. Anyway, so, uh, let's see what they say. Let's see anything different. The sound seems very dark, right? People are mostly living at the center. Oh, okay, he's just saying the same thing. Is he gonna say the same thing? Yeah, they're saying the same thing. What about these people, though? We did it. Did you look in the tent? Haha, <laughs> we taught those stupid zombies a lesson. I was able to arrest many zombies because of your help. Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? You might not understand my saying but poor zombies. Yeah, we caught a lot of zombies. I shiver. It's really gross. Look at all these zombies. I blame you for the rest of my life. No response. These zombies stuck to the floor. Why don't they still get me? Uh, they don't want to stay my own skin. Well, you can just run out of the tent. Zombie I mean, really works. I guess someone comes up with some pretty girl paper. Oops, that was a nice thing to say. Yeah, insanely sexist. You know, Earthbound, like, um, has some very, like, um, great dialogue, but, like, occasionally it, they'll just pop up stupid dialogue like that. That's just nitpicking. Hey, new enemy. This is the, uh, Putrid Moldy Man. I'm thinking we've got these in the last part. We're gonna use PSI Fire and, uh... Alright, so, uh, they don't do much damage. The, these, uh, these enemies, no good flies are pretty much like, uh, those enemies, like, you want to grind XP for. And none of them got tamed. But one more PSI fire should do it. And thankfully, we went first. So, um, no! Right, Human Mother Man was defeated. We got 692 XP and Ness is now level 21. Max HP went up by two. Max PP went up by one. I think we're one or two levels away from learning another PSI attack. We're just gonna get our partners level healing up. Oh, twofer. This is now level 16. Oh baby, offense went up by three. Oh baby, defense went up by three. Guts went up by one. IQ went up by two. Luck went up by one. Max HP went up by three. And another battle. Thanks. Okay, so now we got that. Oh, I want that. Want that. Want that. Want that. And uh, that should get our PP up. Uh, it's almost got Paul's up all the way. Uh, another battle. Hey, that should be the last of the unnecessary battles, but we got a uh, we got some level ups out of this. Uh, maybe uh, not Jeff's also another level up. I want to say Jeff levels up faster than Paula, but I could be wrong. Anyway, so I think there's gonna be new enemies in this area. Uh, 
Welcome to uh, some pretty, pretty annoying enemies. Uh, these are the urban zombies. And I totally forgot that I have these my other croissant on uh, Paula. Yeah, they will. They will. They will. They'll kind of lower your guts, make you catch a cold, and uh, also requiring us to use our, one of our refreshing herbs. Should I just do this shit after the battle? But yeah, they have a just a standard attack. They're not really too difficult enemies. Gav is now level 17. Speed went up by 1. Max if you went by 2. Oh yeah. And I wanted to see what's in that, uh... Tip Sandwich Deluxe, uh... I think we can, uh, use that on Ness. Kinda go faster. Yeah, this kinda makes you, uh, heal 6 damage. Though it got ruined by battle. Meanwhile, I caught a cold in this battle, so, uh, we're gonna have to, uh, use healing alpha. We can do with our refreshing herbs, but I want to save until I really need them. Ooh, this is a bad battle. All is now level 18. Oh, defense went by 1, max HP went by 3, max HP went by 2. Ness actually almost died in this battle, so, uh, we're gonna have to, uh, Ta-da! There is a silver bracelet inside, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna give that to Paula because I believe she is the most vulnerable because she has the lowest HP. I don't need to heal Jeff up a bit. There's also a boss coming after this. Are we at the boss? I think we are. Skip Sandwich ran out. There it is. Yeah, yeah, since you had fly, honey, you can say you a friend. Actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. The mini barf attack. Now, uh, these, uh, this is a pretty annoying enemy. They will, uh, dodge a lot of your attacks. They are strong against PSI Freeze. We're gonna have to resort to our good old Thunder Alpha. And I guess I'll use the bomb here. Good thing I got that. And I'm gonna need to heal Jeff because otherwise he'll die. I don't want to use my big bar rocket because I want that. I want to use that later. Oh yeah, here's some new status conditions. This is the crying status where uh, a lot of your physical attacks are gonna miss. I mean, we're gonna have to use PSI Mario and uh, PSI Thunder, and uh, Jeff would have to go high risk, high reward. But yeah, they will miss a lot of the time with the PSI with the, the crying status. And uh, yes, yeah, it's a unfortunate new um, we need PSI Thunder Alpha. Not hitting, it hit once. Yeah, they, they, he does this a lot. I don't think it, I th I'm trying to think of what heals this. I don't think anything really heals this. Maybe some, maybe one of the later healing, but uh, hey, it hit. Yeah, I need to heal Jeff. Did I use the wrong attack? Yeah, I, I, Jeff survived. Because I want, I want Jeff to get the H, the XP. And Thunder hit. Nope. What Thunder hit? I might have to use this on Mario. We're almost out of XP. Oh wait, uh... I'm trying to think, is that Flash? I think it's Flash. Yeah, notice how annoying this can get. None of our attacks are here. We're actually gonna have to heal Paula. I'm not trying to use shield. Can it? Damn, can it friggin' hit? Jesus! 
fucking die already? <laughs> I have the mid, the big ball rocket, but I want to save that. And I'm out of PP for, uh... Yeah, I'm out of PP for, uh... It doesn't matter if it's defeated. Jesus, that was a pain in the ass. Here we were, though. Ness is now level 22. Offense went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. Max HP went by 10. Max HP went up by 1. You realize the power of PSI Mario Beta. Jeff's now level 18. Offense went by 1. Vitality went by 1. IQ went by 1. Max is up by 10. Jesus, that was. I'm gonna get Fly Honey to go with them. I smell that I love Fly Honey. That's basically your hint to get the jar of Fly Honey from earlier. I did not mean to go back down. This, this is a new area. I must have a long time running. You know, there's nothing to find out. I'm messing hungry. Okay, there's the croissant, the calorie stick, and the cup of coffee. I don't really think we need any of those. But I think- Oh! I need that. I need that really badly. Anyway, so there's new enemies in this area. Let's see if we can encounter them. Probably there's a bomb, thank god. Cause I used my 1128 bomb. Hey, new enemies. <laughs> so these are several new enemies. These are the red antoids. They're like the black antoids, only stronger. They will not do a... I don't think um, they call for help, unlike the black antoids, but uh... I'm thinking of one move they don't really do. This is the armored frog. They have very high defense, but they are very weak to PSI freeze. And this is the farm zombie. Now let's test out our PSI Mario beta. Moves freeze beta on the uh, armored frog. And just have, for good luck charm, Jeff shoots the farm zombie. Dude, that basically killed it. Oh yeah, they do call for help. It's like, I think it's the PSI magnet they don't do. Wait a second, at least we're gonna get, we're just gonna get extra XP out of this. Paul is now level 19. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Max HP went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. Paul realized the fire, fire power fire beta. Yes. Jeff's now level 19. Offense went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. Now there, I think there's one remaining new enemy in this area, and it's also I want to encounter it just to explain it's a uh, what it does, a protein drink. I just kind of that's the way to get to the next area, but uh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Anyway, so here's the uh, new enemy. This is the prank, the plain crocodile. They have a very strong biting attack. However, they're they are very weak to a uh, PSI freeze. Freeze. So, uh, they also have a 1 in 120 chance of dropping the Meteorium, which is an item you can't use, but it can self alarm. It's basically like the nugget in the Pokemon games. I underestimated the power of this thing. Bet. Unfortunately, Jeff's gonna get no XP out of this. I don't have any uh, things to heal. Well, how much are, are Ness and Polly gonna get for themselves? That's uh, 2000 XP. Not even a level up. Lame. I don't, I don't wanna battle you. I don't wanna battle you. I'm literally next to the fucking town. You know, I'm gonna use PSI Mario B, I guess the hell out of here. I'm probably being tame, and uh, these should all become tame. Oh my god. Yes! Thank god.
Ness is now level 23. Offense went up by one. Defense went up by one. I feel up by one. Max is up by two. Max PP went up by three. Ball is now level 20. Oh, baby. Offense went up by three. Defense went up by one, field went up by one, Guts went up by one, Vitality went up by one, but IQ went up by two, Max PP went up by eight. That rocks, Max PP went up by ten! I could not have used that at a better time. Anyway, so, we're technically in Saturn Valley. Yeah, this is kind of new music. There's an enemy you can encounter in this cave, and I really want to see it, but I want to give that damn ball rocket to Jeff. Because only Jeff can use it. We're gonna encounter the enemy. There it is. These are very easy enemies to take out, and they give a, they drop a 120 damage. So not a bad idea to grind out. But uh, these are the violent roaches. They uh, nip their bros, which means they do nothing. They attack. They're not very strong enemies. And on top of that, they have a one in 120 chance drop in the refreshing herb. But like um. If you're gonna get a refreshing order, you can buy those in three, so I wouldn't recommend just going for a 128 item. It'd be nice if I get one, but uh, I'm not actually going for this. No, oh, they, they can also solidify you. They're not worth your time. Yeah, they're, not, they're a joke. No 128 item, but um, yeah, once we get out of this area, this is uh. There's another section of this cave, but then... This is one of the, my favorite areas in Earthbound, Saturn Valley. Cut off this part of Earthbound, so next time on Earthbound, we're gonna go- we're gonna explore Saturn Valley. See you guys next time.